guys, it's Sarah and today is Bookless Thursday. This is a video series I do with my friend Lindsay over at Lindsay's Little Library. And every Thursday we bring you some sort of list or book topic that we feel like talking about for the week. And this week we are doing our next round of five star predictions. And this time we're doing a little Christmas in July theme. And by that, I mean we are going to be teaming up with two people, two other people this time, and we are going to be working with Krista from Books and Jams and Amanda from The Curly Reader. And the reason we're doing like a Christmas in July type thing is because every December, these ladies and I have been doing Christmas book exchanges where we will send each other books for Christmas and we will open them on camera. And it's like this whole big project that we've been doing and we take all year to do it. It's so much fun. And last year we did a little mini exchange where we did just a couple of books and we called it Christmas in July. So this time, instead of doing another exchange, we decided that we're going to do a five-star prediction round starting in July for July and August, and we are going to pick three books from our Christmas book exchange books and read those as part of that. So we're each gonna pick one book from the other person. <laughs> so all of us are gonna be picking three books from, you know, like I'm gonna pick one from Lindsay, one from Krista, one from Amanda, and vice versa for all the other girls as well. So we're picking one book that was sent from each person. And we are gonna predict that they're five stars and we're gonna read them and hope that they are. So this one was really hard for me to pick because my friends know me very well and they send me books that they think I'm going to like and they're usually right. <laughs> there have been a couple, a couple like, you know, there have been a couple that haven't been five stars, but that's to be expected, right? So, but I did go ahead and pick three. It was very hard. I literally just picked them because I kept going back and forth and I was like, I just need to commit. Just make a commitment, Sarah. Just do it. Okay. So the first one I picked from Krista and that is The Lost Man by Jane Harper. I have not read a Jane Harper book yet. I think I own like five of her books. It's ridiculous, you guys. But I have a feeling she's going to be an author that I'm really going to like. And Krista just read this one and she loved it absolutely loved it, was raving about it. So that makes me definitely more intrigued. And when I was reading the back of this book, when I opened it for our book exchange, I was so excited. I, I read the first like two paragraphs, two little like total of probably three or four sentences. And I was like, I'm in, that's all I need. I don't even want to read anymore. I want to read this book. I'm so excited. So this is going to be my first one. So this is set in Australia and it follows a cattle ranch where a family lives and one of a member of their family is lying dead at their feet. And that's kind of all, that's all I went into. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I want to know. I want to know what's going on. Give me all of the Yellowstone vibes, right? Seriously. So we'll see how this ends up going, but I'm very excited to read Jane Harper and um, to see what this is all about. I've heard amazing things. Okay, the one that I picked from Lindsay is a Taylor Jenkins Reid book, and it is Maybe in Another Life. And Taylor Jenkins Reid is definitely one of my favorite authors, and I am very excited to get more into her backlist right now, and I want to read everything that she has written, and I'm working on it. So this is one that I have not read yet, and I am just going to predict that I'm going to give it five stars because I've given all of her books five stars so far. So this one kind of has a little bit of a sliding doors type of storyline where we have a woman who I think she's at a bar with a friend and she gets a proposition from someone else from her past that she runs into. And so she is trying to make the decision, should I go home with this person or should I go home with my friend? <laughs> like what's going to happen? And I believe that this goes into what would happen in each of those scenarios. So you're kind of seeing how different her life is going to be based on that one choice. And I've heard great things and I'm super excited to read it. And the one from Amanda is a nonfiction, actually. It's American Predator by Maureen Callahan. So this is, um, the tagline is the hunt for the most meticulous serial killer of the 21st century. So this is going into a serial killer who had been killing for a very, very long time. And the reason that he was able to get away with everything is because of how meticulous and how methodical and how careful he was. And it made him one of the most dangerous people, but nobody really knew. And so I'm excited for this, you guys. <laughs> you guys know I love my true crime. And this is definitely one that's been on my radar for quite a while. And I was so excited when Amanda had sent it to me. So um, yeah, 
I'm very excited to read this one. So these are my books from our next round of the five star predictions. I'm so excited to get to all of these and I will be reading these in the next two months and we will do a follow up at the end of August and let you know what my thoughts were on them. Hopefully they are all going to be fantastic. So please make sure you go check out Lindsay, Anna, Krista, and Amanda. I will have all of their channels linked down below and today they all have their own five star predictions up as well from our Christmas book exchange option. So I'm really excited to see which ones they end up picking and excited to see them read them and see what their thoughts are along the way as well. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Have you read any of these? Let me know and we will see you guys again soon. Hope you have a great day. Bye.